Silver Rock head coach Sean Lutz, a 48-7 win over Gannon. Pretty convincing victory. They scored on their opening drive and uh, didn't score again after that. Uh, you took care of business today, finished the PSAC West off with a sweep 7-0 and for the first time since 1999. Uh, came out of the game healthy, got a big win in terms of the uh, NCAA playoff chances, and uh, now you're looking ahead to the PSAC title. Overall thoughts on, on today? How can you how can you argue with that right there? I mean, it was a great great day for us in rock football, and uh, to, to, to unbelievable to go undefeated in the PSAC West like we did first time since 1999. Give our kids all the credit, our, our staff, for just believing in each other. I think we were picked to be third in the West maybe preseason, and we're first, but we're not done yet. We have a huge game this upcoming week, and a lot's on the line, a championship for the entire conference and an NCAA playoff bid. So it's exciting, but you, I, I got it. All phases played well today, offense, defense especially, and very, very proud of our guys. A couple things to point out today. Coming into the game on paper, it was exciting for a lot of D2 football fans because you had two of the best running backs in Division II in West Hills uh, for Slippery Rock and Gannon's Marcus Jones, who was a Harlan Hill finalist last year. West went for uh, 207 yards and three touchdowns, and your defense held Marcus Jones to 16 yards on 15 carries. Uh, talk about the running back battle today, and, and I mean, I, I know that you feel that West is the best running back in the PSAC, but he, did he establish that today? I'm not going to take any way from Marcus Jones. I mean, that last year he broke a PSAC rushing record against us. But in my opinion, okay, Wes Hills is the best running back in the conference. And I really believe he is. If you find me a better running back in all of Division II, I want to see who it is. Right now he's as hot as it gets. Last three games he's rushed for over 200 yards. And the, the balance, the power, the speed, all the things he can do, all the tangibles he can do, you know, is in eight games I think he's played. He's had over a thousand yards today, rushing. I think he's the best. And uh, you know, I, I like to argue with anybody if, if they say he's not. And defensively, though, you mentioned Mark Jones ran for 350 yards against your defense last year. Uh, put up five touchdowns up there in that wild game up at Gannon this year. And then you really shut him down. You shut down the running game today. Now, they got a lot of injuries over there on offense. They were on their third string quarterback today. So not at, uh, not at full power over there for Gannon today. But talk about your defensive scheme today and shutting down the run the way you did. Coach Rosano, Coach Hall, Coach Phillips, Coach Brown do a tremendous job. I want to finally say their name. And our guys believe right now they're a year older and um, it, it wasn't just a fluke Let's give them credit they've been consistent all year the defense has done a tremendous job I think we got one of the best defenses in the conference and and we'll find out because Westchester next week also likes to run the football a little bit but they, they had a big you know I, I think a lot of it was seriously they, they wanted to they have that feeling from last year a lot of these guys played football for last year and knew they were embarrassed by Mark Jones and uh, they did a tremendous job today very proud of the unit and on the other side of the, of the ball, we mentioned Wes Hills there with his 207 yards, three touchdowns, but really just a balanced attack all over the place. Tough day to throw the football, real windy, a lot of rain in the first half there, but uh, Roland took care of the football today, put up uh, put up two touchdown passes, no turnovers, and uh, again, just rolling. He's 8-0 as a starter and led you to a 7-0 record in the PSAC West. Talk about your quarterback. Roland Rivers, 8-0. Should be first team all peace act. There's no question about it. He took us to a championship. When he started playing, we can't argue this, we started getting hot as a football team. And the unsung heroes, let's face it, our offensive line. Uh, how about he had a lot of time back there and we're running the football. That group has been a strength of ours. Credit to those guys, but uh, offensively, we have a lot of different weapons at the receiver position. Some young guys got in, Quiz Montard, Amon Morris Walker caught a ball. It was exciting to see. And uh, moving ahead now, you uh, you put the PSAC West behind you. You got undefeated Westchester. They're they're up big on on Lockhaven in their final game of the East right now. Uh, you got undefeated Westchester coming to town, 11th in the national rankings this week. Uh, you know that a win in that game gets you into the playoffs for sure. Maybe even gets you a home game. Where's the focus for the team heading into next week? All the marbles on the line. I like it. You would have told me. Going in the last game, we'd be playing in a PSAC championship game at home. I would have taken it for sure. So we we, were, we can't be disappointed where we're at right now. We know if we win, we're in the national playoffs and we win the entire championship. I'm excited about it. Happy to win this West right here. Feels good. But all our emphasis starting tomorrow will be towards Westchester in the PSAC championship. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Great performance today. Hey, thank you and go Rock.